Hey guys, it's Amanda Panda, and today is Fan yeah. Custom yeah. Friday, yeah. where I pick one of my fans' custom OC ponies, and I make it in real life on my channel. And this month's winner is Color Drop. And Color Drop was submitted to me by Jennifer. She is a distant relative of Rainbow Dash. And Color Drop has a very important job. She makes all the colors of the rainbow and distributes them to all of the pegasi to make rainbows that is so awesome so let's get started making color drop nurse red heart's gonna be transformed into color drop today i'm starting off by removing the cutie mark and that mark at the bottom of her leg with some acetone i'm also going to use a little bit of acetone to remove some of the blue and black from her eyes but i'm going to leave the eyelashes and the general shape of the eye to help me with the placement of color drops eyes later on now I need to remove all of this pink hair I need to pop off the head first so I'm twisting it very firmly to the side until it just pops right out I'm gonna take my big scissors and cut off the bulk of this hair and then go in with my teeny tiny scissors and cut the hair all the way down to the scalp now this step is really important because it makes it super easy to pull out all of the hair roots that are inside of the pony's head so there's her haircut now for this neck plug i'm going to take my pliers and just pull the neck plug out because for whatever reason nurse red heart does not have a lot of glue so that came out super easy but it doesn't always happen like that and sometimes you have to cut out that neck plug now i'm reaching into the head with my pliers and i'm gonna pull out all of those chunks of hair and glue until the pony is completely completely bald and you saw that really big plastic piece that is where the ribbon was in her hair so the pony's head is completely bald and ready to be customized so now i'm going to work on the body not too much to do to the body here i'm going to use my exacto knife and make a series of tiny cuts all the way around the neck plug until i can just pull it right out like this now i'm going to pick up my scissors again and cut off the tail then reach inside of the pony's body with my long nose pliers and pull out the rest of that pink tail. And these ponies also have this little metal washer on the inside. You want to make sure that that pops out too because sometimes it can get in the way of putting in the new tail. So let's get started with the customization. I have these amazing, amazing nail polish colors. I'll list all the names down below, but I have a purple, a blue, a bright green, a yellow, an orange, and a red. All the colors of the rainbow and all the colors on color drop and i'm going to be using these to completely customize her body and to create color drops perfect spots i'm going to be using my nail dotting tool it looks just like this it's basically two little spheres at the end a big one and a small one it makes two different size dots really inexpensive you can get like five of them for a dollar on amazon or ebay i'm gonna start off by customizing the body first i personally like to take the end of a paintbrush and run it through the tail hole it makes it so easy to customize the entire pony's body without risking damage to your paint job so i have a little piece of plastic here and i am dotting on a little bit of nail polish on the plastic and then i'm going to take the larger end of my nail dotting tool dip it inside of the nail polish and then firmly press the nail dotting tool onto the body wherever i want that spot to be i'm starting off with the purple and i am kind of spacing all of my spots out because there are six different colors to put on color drops body so i don't want it to look too busy and i don't want the colors to be too close to each other so i'm just going to repeat this until all the colors are on
the body is all done and it looks really really awesome i'm going to seal all of this work in with a layer of clear nail polish and then i'm going to let that dry and while it's drying i'm going to start working on color drops head so i've actually put in all of the colored dots already i used the same process i used on the body now i'm going to start working on her eyes so i'm switching over to acrylic paint here and i'm just redefining the general shape of her eye i used two coats of paint there now her eyes are rainbow so i'm gonna go in with red i just picked any random color from the rainbow and i'm going to draw the big circle for her eye and then i'm gonna go in with all the other colors and make little triangles and the eyes gonna kind of look like a rainbow pie with all these little slices so let's get all the colors on i have red orange yellow let's keep on going All right, last color, purple, and then I'm gonna outline the eyes in black. I did that off camera because it's kind of hard to do that really fine work on camera. I filled in the black section of her eye and I'm gonna top it all off with a little light reflection. That eye looks so cool. Again, I'm gonna seal all of my work in with a layer of clear nail polish. And once that nail polish has completely dried, it is time for Color Drop to get her new mane now i have six gorgeous colors here from dollyhair.com cherry pie nectarine yellow fever envy sour grapes and forget me not the six colors of her hair let's get started I've marked off six different sections on the head and this is going to be a really loose guideline for me to follow when I'm putting in the different colors so I know where to stop. To reroute, I'm going to be using my tool from dollyhair.com. You can see it's a pronged needle so I just catch the hair right in between those two little ends just like this. I have it kind of pulled tightly around my finger and it catches right there. And then because it is a needle, it is pretty sharp. So you just pick which hole you want that hair plug to go in, and press down. And just like that, the first hair plug is in. You can see inside of the head where that hair plug has kind of rooted itself inside of the head. And you're gonna repeat this process over and over again until Color Drop has a new mane, a new rainbow mane. And this hair that I've used is one quarter the original length. So I cut it down to a quarter of the original length and then I fold it in half around my fingers. So let's get all of these colors in once you have all the hair plugs in you're gonna need to secure the hair so it doesn't fall out when you're playing with the pony i am going to be using a new method today i'm using my hot glue gun and i am going to squeeze a generous amount of hot glue directly inside of the pony's head and once it's dry all the hair should be secured now it's time to work on her tail so i have a bunch of hair in all six different colors i've very very tightly twist tied the hair together. I'm threading it through the tail hole and pulling it about halfway through using my pliers. You don't want to pull it all the way through, just halfway. If you pull it all the way, you're going to have to redo it again. So let me just pull this up a little bit more and then I'm going to remove the twist tie and replace it with a zip tie because a zip tie is so much more secure than a twist tie so I'm going to fasten this as tightly 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 as I possibly can so none of that hair can possibly get loose I'm gonna trim off the little tip here with my scissors and pull that tail through just like that the pony has a new tail it's the easiest part of customizing I think now I'm just going to take a little bit of Gorilla Glue and I'm going to reattach the neck plug to the body and once that glue has 
is completely set, I will attach the head to the body. And that's it for the customization. Let's take a look at the completed custom. Here is Color Drop and she came out so adorable. All of those colors look absolutely fantastic. I am in love with that rainbow mane. And Jennifer, I hope that you love Color Drop in real life. I think she came out really good and looks just like your drawing. If you would like your pony to be entered into the Fan Custom Friday giveaway, stay tuned until the end of this video for all of the giveaway details. And I haven't forgotten that I still owe you guys one more more fan custom friday from last month so expect it for sure this month thank you so much for watching little pandas until next time bye Want to see your OC Pony made in real life? It could happen. Submit a drawing of your OC Pony along with a short story about him or her directly to me and be sure to include your OC's name. Once a month, I will randomly choose a pony to create in real life on my channel. Anyone can enter no matter where you live and it is completely free. There is no charge to submit your pony and there is no charge to make it if you win. I'll even mail you the finished pony as long as you have a valid mailing address. I ship worldwide and of course shipping is free. Here are the Fan Custom Friday rules. 1. You must be a subscriber to this channel, so submit your YouTube name along with your OC so I can verify. And if you are underage or your parents do not let you have a YouTube channel, no problem. Just let me know when you submit your pony. And two, if you are under 18, please ask your parents' permission before entering the there giveaway. There are three different ways to submit your OC Pony. You can either message me on Facebook or comment on my Facebook page, facebook.com backslash mandapandatoycollector. You can message me on Instagram at mandapandatoycollector or you can mail me your drawing and your story to mandapanda P.O. Box 2855 Humble, Texas 77347. Just a reminder, Fan Custom Friday is intended to encourage your imagination and creativity. So please avoid plagiarizing other people's works from websites such as DeviantArt and Google.